I like touch screens on laptops. Uh, so much so that after using a touch screen laptop for a long period of time, and then going back to a non touch screen laptop, I have occasionally tapped at the screen in vain. I then kind of laugh to myself and look around to make sure that nobody in the cafe just saw me trying to poke my MacBook. And it's not just Mac. There's a bunch of other computers, Windows computers, Chromebooks that don't have a touchscreen or don't come with one, especially of an older version. So what if you could change that? A product called the Neonode Air Bar aims to change that. Essentially, you can put this on the bottom of your screen, plug it into the laptop, and voila, you have a touchscreen. It's actually pretty clever how it works. It projects a field of light, essentially, up the screen, and anything that breaks that field of light, it can calculate where that light was broken and translate it into a touch input. Now, because it is a light field and not like a capacitive screen, it doesn't matter what you poke the screen with. It could be your finger, it could be fingers with gloves on, it could be a stick, a toothbrush, it doesn't really matter. Set it up for the first time, simply peel off the stickers on the magnets on the back of the air bar, line it up using the white lines on it, and set it three millimeters below your display, if that's possible. I found that mine just actually sits on my display, but it still works fine. This way, the magnets will now stick to your computer and you can easily remove and reattach the air bar as needed. Then you just plug it in and magically, there aren't any downloads or drivers to go searching for, it just works. I've tested it on a few computers around the office here and on all of them, it just started working. The device is listed as only working for Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 and Chromebooks, but it does kind of work on Mac as well. The thing is though that Windows has touch input built into the operating system because some Windows computers come with touch screens. Even if the computer doesn't come with that, it's still underlying in Windows, it knows how to deal with it. So when you just plug it in and it just adds that input, it works fine. Mac, on the other hand, never has had that. So it doesn't really know what to do with certain gestures. Now you can use it to draw because it essentially just takes it as a long mouse click and you can just kind of draw around. What doesn't work is things like pinching and then also scrolling. Now Neonote is working on a version of this for Mac, but there's no real indication when it's coming out just yet. Uh, but if you want to check that out, you can click the link below to be taken on that. Uh, otherwise, though, even for like an older Windows laptop or an older Chromebook or just one that doesn't have a touchscreen, instead of going out and buying a whole new one to get a touchscreen, this $70 product kind of breathes new life into your device and allows you to have that touchscreen without all of that hassle. Now, if you guys are interested, you can click the link below to check out the Air Bar. Uh, but what do you guys think? Is this something you would actually use? Do you think it's worth it, etc.? Let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. Uh, and if you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It's greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, please check out my channel. There is a link somewhere. Uh, and if you like what you see there, please subscribe. As always, though, thanks for watching.